Hi everyone, going back to the next series after a long stop, apologies for the delay. For this episode, we will be developing a simple Nex Auto Fighter, and then build from there using our pre-built functions like Nex Detection, Minimap Position Detection and others. We will focus on the essentials first, like attacking Nex, change the camera view using arrow keys when Nex is not found, and moving away from Nex when it's close to the player to avoid melee damage. Stay tuned. We will start by removing the testing code from Nex Detection function. and return next position as X and Y. To attack next, it's better to use the right-click menu to avoid moving through the room randomly. If the left-click missed, we will detect the attack option in the right-click menu then click it. We will crop the attack part and save it to be used later for detection. I will go ahead and make a function that automates the process of attacking Nex. Simply by taking the result of the detection right clicking on Nex, looks for the attack option then clicks it. I will add an X and Y offset to the detected attack position to make sure it goes through. Let's go ahead and test our next attacking script. Hum, it's clicking a bit lower than expected. I just remembered, the function look for returns the position of the center of the object not the top left, so no need for the X and Y offsets. Okay, yeah, now it works fine. Now let's create the main bot loop. Let's call the function run. This will be coordinating bot scripts for attacking, healing, and staying from Nex. We will start by a simple auto attack function, then build from there. First thing to add is to change the game camera using the right arrow key when Nex is not found. Let's test the camera view change and auto attack. It's doing good. Now the next important part is to add a script that keeps the player away from Nex to avoid the high melee damage, 
we could test something simple, like just clicking in the opposite direction of next. So, what is a safe distance in terms of pixels? I would say around 40 is good enough. We will calculate the distance between the fixed position of the player to the detected next position, using a simple distance function between two points. We will add two functions to the main bot loop, one to tell if we're too close to next, and another to do something about it, like moving away. I will set the distance to 70, just to prevent it from moving too much. For the move away function, let's start by simply making it click in the opposite direction randomly. I forgot to add player position to the vector, going from player to next. Let's give it a shot. I made it print distance and next vector, just to make sure it's not returning unusual values. Um, it's clicking in the wrong direction. Let's see what the X and Y are for the calculated click away. It's definitely the wrong direction. I can simply reverse the direction by negating the vector. Let's try again. I think the click should be a little further away from character. More distance. The way move away function now works is pretty bad. It clicks on random objects while also can easily be cornered to a wall. I have an idea for a better version. Since we have a minimap position detector, we can use the minimap to move to a preset location that's somewhat far from the current location. So, in the next room, the best position to be in is one of the four corners, and also be in range to attack. We want to find the closest corner to our current position, and if we're currently in a corner, it shouldn't be considered as one of the options to move to. We also want another function to automate the process of moving toward a position in the minimap, not all positions in the full minimap image is reachable in one click, so it will have to use a point in the current minimap closest to our target position.
time to test our move away to a corner function. Hum, the minimap position detection is still configured to a local image, not a screenshot, let's change that. I think it takes an image too fast before it gets a chance to reset properly. I should add a very short delay after minimap reset. Let's try again. It's much better now. We've done a lot this episode, it might not feel like much but consider this. If we add the scripts we've developed for restoring HP and prayer, and the one for collecting drops, I think it can actually complete a mass next run. For the next episode I will add the remaining scripts and test it in a mass next run. Next episode might take long because next isn't as popular in this private server as it used to be. With all that said, there is nothing left but to thank you for watching and hope you all have a wonderful day.